Well, hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me again here in Elm Creek. Uh, last episode, we first we started harvesting uh, this brand new sugar beet field that we bought. And as you can tell, it's taken uh, a few minutes to get this, this done. Now, the other thing you might notice uh, if we hop into the harvester, that we actually did clock over <laughs> the two hours. Oh, great, great sadness with that. Um, and that actually happened just as we were wrapping up uh, the episode, our last episode. Oh, okay. So, but I think we're, well, hopefully, fingers crossed, we are safe from actually uh, going over to uh, three hours because that will make this endeavor extremely expensive. Now, we will have a look at how much money we could make if we sold the sugar beet at the top price. Uh, once we get it all in, it'll all be sitting in the train, uh, train yard silo there because, uh, well, I don't want to dump all this on the ground. Uh, so what's the plan? The plan today right now is let's finish uh, this off. This will obviously take a, a little bit to get done. But I also, well, last episode was running long. No, don't drive on the, oh, Sargon. Okay, that was on me. Lost a little bit of the crop. It's not the first time I ha have done that with this big, beautiful harvester. But we will look, as I said, at how much money we can make if we were to sell the sugar beet at its top price from this field. Now, if you think about the cost to date, about, I think it was 365 ish thousand dollars for the field. And then we have spent, I think it was $25,000 uh, $25,000 to rent the machine initially. And we've had two, two hour fees of 10,000 ish dollars each. So $45,000. So we're in for about $410,000. Now this field will produce more crop. Uh, and I believe the sh it stays as a sugar beet field. So not to worry, not to worry. But for now, uh, let's just quickly uh, finish off uh, getting uh, this field harvested and all the sugar beet over to the train station. are getting ever so close to finishing off harvesting uh, this field. Wowzers. Okay, so a few things. You can, uh, you might notice in the bottom right hand corner, we we're at 2.4 hours. That means, yeah, we, this bit, well, it's obviously was a sizable chunk, uh, took us 0.4 of an hour and we might actually get to 0.5 before this is done. We will see. Oh, please tell me. Okay, good. We got it all. So that is something to consider. Okay. Uh, yeah, I did miss a bit. Back that baby up. We need all the sugar beet that we can. It's about, almost said sweet potatoes. Yeah, that might be for dinner tonight. Or part of the side dish. But no, the sugar beet. That's what we're harvesting here today. And... So 0.4, so 2.4 hours total. 
So thank goodness, uh, if we do need at least uh, this machine at least, we know it's not going to take us three hours. It would be grand if somehow we could get that under. Uh, oops, uh, we missed a... Ooh, we... Okay, we're going to have to uh, backtrack. We, we're missing just a tad. But we'll get that. We'll come back and get it because we need all the sugar beets. But all to say is... It's good news is that this is at least under three hours to uh, harvest this field with this machine. You know, ideally under two, save us $10,000. So it's a $45,000 charge, pretty much. That's the last bit of the sugar beet, at least from what I can tell. 88% of the harvester, nearly 40,000 liters. Just need to get this uh, back to the uh, truck and trailer. Just quickly get this uh, swapped over. And then we can get ourselves out of the month of November into a brighter December. Ooh, speaking of bright, those headlights, pretty, pretty snazzy, must say. And there we are empty. So the first thing we're going to do is uh get to the right menu let's do that uh come over where are we own oh, lease there we go let's get this returned okay 2.5 hours okay so we can also see i am not sure okay we are very close to clocking over another hour on this trailer i would like to avoid that uh do a loop-de-loop. -loop. Got ourselves a little, uh, little lost. Okay, let's get this over to the train silo. Oh, sadly, we ticked over the hour. As you can see, we're down to $582. Womp womp. Okay, it's it's unfortunate. Uh, I actually had debated uh, when I was uh, filming the last episode. Maybe for the last load, I should just use our trailers. Um to save on a potential cost of run, but like, no, no, I like to live dangerously. Let's, uh, let's try it. And, you know, uh, we, we failed. But I love this trailer. This is definitely on the to buy list. And we are empty. Perfect. So let's return it. Buy trailer. Let's return. Gonzo. Now, what we can look at here, as you can see, our sugar beet, we have 495,000 liters. It is currently valued at $230,000, almost 231 if we sold it today. Uh, and max value, $254,000. Now, we're not going to sell it. This is going to uh, go to a new sugar mill. We're going to acquire either later this episode or next episode. But with that, let's get into the month of December. What a beautiful December day, uh, just in time for, well, sunrise. Now, you notice we are in the poorhouse, which we're going to solve a number of ways today. And the first one is we're going to grab our cultivator. We're going to come in here and we are going to grab this contract here. We will accept it. Field 33. So we'll make some... Oh, wait a minute. I was about to say, we're going to make some nice, easy money. Get ourselves back in the black. Just throw a helper on. But we are actually poor. And we're also going in the wrong direction. You know, wouldn't be the first time I've gotten lost, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so this is one where we're going to make some money. And like I said, I thought we'd be able to just get it started, but... And throw in a helper. What we'll do is we'll get this tractor over here and we'll then look at a few other ways we're going to get ourselves back in the black. Method number two is taking our good old truck here, which, you know, we've had parked by that beehive. Thankfully, it doesn't look like any bees have moved in, although with my erratic driving, you might debate that. We're going to head over to Arc oil mill production because there is 
one pallet of canola oil that spawned, uh, as well as sunflower oil, but we're not going to sell any sunflower oil today. That is for a later month, I believe, March. As you can see, two pallets, well, technically three pallets of canola, sorry, sunflower oil, one of canola. So we're going to grab it. Uh, apparently really throw that truck around. Oh, it's always the farthest, but good old Johnson's Farmer's Market at top billing. Now, the nice thing about taking the truck is we can make some great timing here. Although we won't take that as a high speed turn. Oh no, uh, not in this game. Alrighty, oh yes, yes. You know, we, we at one point had 350 some thousand dollars in the bank, and now I'm like, oh, thank goodness, $4,600 in the bank. Now, before we get back, let's come down to our productions, and let's turn off the canola oil, because, yeah, there's just not a, well, we're out. And we're 200 liters shy. Oh, that would have been so, so nice. Well, we now actually have money to put on a helper, but we'll get things started here because why not? Yes, please don't cultivate the other farmer's land. We're not getting paid for it. Okay. Uh, no, I was about to say, ooh, man, things are in rough shape here. Really, really rough shape. I'm I'm not sure uh, if y'all can tell me, but how how much does a damage cultivator actually impact <laughs> the speed of things? Can actually probably go look at uh, the stats for this cultivator to see what its max speed is. But yeah, she's uh she's chugging now. There is a bit of an incline here. Yeah, just a bit. Uh, not as bad as trying to go up that one there, as you can see. So it does go up the bank. But here, not too bad. Not too bad at all. So what we're going to do is we will get this turned around up the headland here. But we'll put it on a helper as soon as we get over to the other side of this uh, part of the field. Because I think that will make it easier on the tractor of not having to chug all the way up. Although we're holding uh, 10 kph, so maybe it's not a huge, huge deal. Okay, let's get ourselves. We'll do a little loop-de-loop -loop because that's probably the easiest. Although the cultivator might be uh, disputing that uh, claim. There we go. Okay, so what else are we going to do this this month? Well, before we move out of December, we're not going to stay in December too, too long. Uh, what we need to accomplish is, obviously, finish this particular contract. Give us a nice little extra boost to money, which, as I mentioned earlier, my plan was, hey, let's just grab this contract and, you know, throw in a helper. And, yeah, we need money for that. So... Very rude of helpers wanting to get paid and stuff. Like, can't they just uh, work for free for me? Because uh, I'm a really nice guy. Ooh, look at all this extra land. Now, I, I wouldn't want to actually have to harvest uh, that. Um, but there is a nice stretch of land over here that is not plowed. Now, it's unlikely we're actually going to end up buying this field. Okay. So this is a thing that has to get done before we move on. So let's throw on a helper for now. The next thing we need to accomplish is actually uh, throw some more fertilizer on our grass field. You know, it's still growing, uh, which means it's not going to be turned in silage for the big silage uh, sale, but that's fine. We're talking about making this primarily hay and grass. But uh, we want the best yield possible. So to do that, we uh, need to get some more fertilizer down. Now, ooh. You know what I should do? Ah, uh, we're not going to do it. I was about to say, let's get the slurry out. 
But I really don't feel like moving all the bales. This is the beauty of the granular fertilizer. So I'm going to shuck it down and away she goes. Now we are just shy of full width. Womp womp. Actually, can we get it all? We come over a little further. Oh, this does throw the entire field. I likey. Just kind of pull ourselves up through here. Turn things off. Hit the wind rower. Oops. And uh, I wonder why my equipment is in need of some TLC. Okay, so what was... Where, where, well, okay, control Z. We'll just come right along here, get this stretch of grass. We can go one, one more narrow. One more narrow, yeah, that's English. Way to go, Sargon, one more narrow. Perfect. So have no fear, we won't be uh, cutting grass in this episode. But, 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 we uh, do need to get this fertilized. See, our egg empire is already underway. We do need to look at getting our wool over. I'm actually not sure how well that's doing. See if we can find a sweet spot here. How well is that throwing? Ah, uh, not as well as I would like. Okay, do not, do not, do not drive into, there we go. Want to avoid driving into the other very profitable canola field. Get this stretch done behind the moo cows, which we really should just grab the slurry tank. And the bales do need to get moved regardless. But sometimes Sargon is lazy Sargon. Well, lickety split, this is getting itself done here. Much faster than our sugar beet harvest. Oh my goodness. Was that a chore to get done? Thankfully, it's only once a year. And, and I do believe we don't need to worry about... Uh, replanting. There we go. Get this put away. Tucked away nice and neat. And you, you know what? Um, I'm thinking we are moving into the month of uh, January this episode. And you know what we're doing in the month of January? We're selling all our silage. So why, oh why, did I just not move Move the bales off of this field and use a slurry. Okay, we got one long bale up here. Let's go pick him up. Uh, I said, let's go pick him up. It would help if we were. Like, it's, it's nice it doesn't just automatically do it, but... It's like, please, just just know what I'm. I want to do. So this will get us out of debt. It will also allow us to get our sugar mill production going. And that's going to be some great, beautiful money. 
Now look at all the silage we have to sell. This this will take a few trips. Uh, let's let's fill it up, please. Let's and this okay. This is my problem. I tend to jackknife these type of trailers. And just something in either in my brain or there's a control that I'm missing. If you all could help me out on that, um, very much appreciate it. Let's just grab three bales. There we go. We'll just leave this parked here. Now you notice uh, we're still waiting for some of that to turn into silage. But that should occur by the next month. Now the other thing we're going to get prepped and loaded. Well, it's not this, but uh, doing a good job. 40% done. Good, good, good. Grab this tractor. And we're going to load up all of our oats because we actually don't need them. Now we will eventually be buying uh, the grain mill, but not today. And I've probably been holding on to too many of my products such as this. Please don't fill up. Well, it'd be nice to fill up the trailer. Oh, but I didn't really mean it. So let's go grab the little baby trailer. Well, we're going to have a few, uh, few liters of oats left, but mostly all filled up. So once again, a good chunk of money sitting in here. Now, I love this mod, as you can see here. Oats, January best price. Tells us how much stock we have. Now, it's not counting what's currently in our trailer. And look at all that sugar beet money. Like that almost, that's almost half of what we uh, spent to acquire and harvest the field. But as said, sugar. You know, this this is a great mod. You know, it reminded me that a bit of canola, as you can see, there's that's that's what's in the oil mill production. So good, good, good. Now we can just come over here now, save ourselves a little bit of money, finish off harvesting uh, this cultivator contract. We do need to get ourselves into January so we can have Sellapalooza, make even more money, and as I said, get ourselves into uh, the sugar business. You know, oh man, I can't remember the Simpsons quote, but there is an episode back in the good old days where uh, Homer gets into uh, the sugar business. Ah, I could be misremembering that, but you never, actually, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure. But that's neither here nor there, so let's just uh, wrap things up on this uh, contract. We are so close to uh, finishing off this uh, contract. Finish a little faster too if I don't miss any bits. But I guess technically, whether left or right, this isn't our field. And like all contracts, you don't actually have to complete the full field. The only time that's really helpful for you is if it's a harvest contract. So you, because any extra bits that you harvest uh, go back to you, um, whether you sell it right away or put it in your silo to, or put it in your production. But here we are almost done. If we pop in 97%. So please, please, please. I think we'll get uh, the all clear here or 100% done here momentarily. As long as it's before the end of the, of, uh, the field, <laughs> that's all I, I'm really concerned about. So. Yeah, we, we did, uh, when I cut to this, I, I did do all this myself. There was no shenanigans with the helper. This is all me, myself, and I, and I might be a little sad here in a moment. Yeah, oh, oh! By the hair of our chinny chin chin, we are done this contract. So let's get back to the farm. And let's get this thing parked and let's move on to the month of January. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Okay. So, part. Beautiful. 
Speaking of take, let's come into our contracts and we will collect all that money for ourselves. So nearly $10,000, awesome. Now let's, uh, speaking of awesome, a lot more money to be made once we jump into uh, January. What a beautiful winter wonderland here. Ooh, okay, this isn't smart. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's get the uh, powerhouse tractor on this uh, heavy silage. No sense making this more difficult than it needs to. Come on, I wonder if it's a snow. You know, I rarely have uh, this much accumulation. I'm, I'm not sure in this series I've gotten this much snow, but I like it. It's, uh, it's a beautiful, crisp January day, and we're off to the animal uh, dealer to sell the silage. It's got the best price. And if you notice, the trailer is now 100% uh, silage. So this is the first silage load that we have. So I think what we're going to do, because uh, obviously this is going to take a bit to uh, get everything here, is we'll just uh, pop in uh, with each drive through uh, of every silage uh, delivery. This is our last load of silage we'll be selling. Now we do have more silage on the farm, but I do want to leave uh, some for our, our lovely cows. And as mentioned, the next time we cut our grass, it's going to be for hay and, well, grass. Now the thing I'll point out too, that $90,000 was from, I believe it's field 70 when I was being cheeky off camera. So that's a nice little haul. So we are doing once again quite well, but we have at least one more thing to sell before we uh, wrap things up. The last thing, yeah, we will be selling uh, in this episode here are our oats, our two trailer full. Now I do wish I could afford, well, I can afford it now, but that nice, beautiful, large trailer, speaking of beautiful, looking at you roller. Can't wait to get you into action to max yield all of our crops. But this will be a nice little profit. Now, it's likely the only time we will be selling, or at least the last time. I can't remember over the 80 plus episodes whether yeah, I've probably sold some at the beginning, uh, the barley and wheat and whatnot. But here now, this is likely the last time any of these, uh, you know, barley, wheat, oats uh, will be sold directly uh, at a sell point like this. It will go into a production in the future, but I do want more uh, more money because, you know, reasons. Now, we do have a large debt to pay off. Whoa, 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 slow her down. Slow her down, Sargon. Just whoa. So we get you going. Get the second trailer tipped. I love the double tip though. That is very, very nice. Well, you might notice we're not at the same spot. Uh, for whatever reason, I could not deliver the oats. It would start to pour uh, and then it'd be like, nope, we're uh, not going in there. And I did not see another spot at the my favorite uh, train yard. But uh, if you guys know what I might have done wrong or where I should have gone. But did I grab wheat? No, 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 no. We're, we're good here, right? Just get our oats all loaded up. Yes. We did deliver all oats. The uh, switching of the uh, trailers uh, confused me for a second. But what's not going to confuse me is our way out of Elm Creek. And we're getting ourselves a nice, tidy little profit as well. Yes, please sell. $56,467. So let's wrap things up here today by coming in and paying off, in 
repay, not borrow, repay all of our loan. Makes me extremely happy. Let's us know exactly how much money we have left in the piggy bank. So a great way to wrap up uh, today's episode at $183,000. And hopefully uh, this afternoon, aka next episode in January, we can actually see the field where we want to put our sugar mill production. So until then, we'll uh, say goodbye to the snow, hopefully, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.